national symbol, symbol for millions of others. But the Dalai Lama insists he is only a simple Buddhist monk. And we spoke with him in October during his, his whirlwind visit to the U.S. Very nice. Yeah, beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. Tenzin Gaso is the 14th Dalai Lama and the only one who has visited America. During his most recent trip to New York, the 78-year-old spiritual leader spoke six different times. Physically, mentally, emotionally, we all say. What was your message here in the United States? I always uh, uh, telling people anger, uh, hatred, fear is very bad for our health. More and more scientists really showing interest about uh, our mental system, system of emotion. And also about finding happiness. The purpose of this research, how to become happy human being, happy human family, and hopefully less divorce. <laughs> <laughs> or less drugs. <laughs> <laughs> the Dalai Lama is well known for his humor and of course for his holiness. Tibetan Buddhists believe that each Dalai Lama is a reincarnation of the previous one. At age four in 1939, Gaso was publicly named the new Dalai Lama. But as China began occupying Tibet in the 50s, he left for India. After more than 50 years in exile, he continues to call for Tibet's autonomy and hopes China's new leadership will listen. Have you talked at all with President Xi? No. That's a joke. But some of my Chinese friends, they say, they, now new leaders, you see, they are a way of thinking. There's, There's real thinking. A way, a way of thinking are more liberal, more open-minded. The government of President Xi. Oh, yes, Chinese leaders. You are more optimistic now oh, with yes, the new course. president of China that uh, Tibet could gain autonomy. Uh, uh, I think that's the answer. I think too early to say. But there are uh, uh, this kind of opinions among Chinese friends. So we'll see. But now China is telling world leaders not to meet with you. Okay. I mean, from their own view, it is quite logical. Some of the Chinese officials consider me as a demon. So it is really worthwhile to, to, uh, to stop meeting with a demon. <laughs> make you angry. After all, anger is just one of the temptations that have no place in this monk's life. <laughs> no wine, mm. no tobacco or anything no. like that. And you are celibate, right? Oh, yes. What do you do for fun? Fun. Use our intelligence and think many things. And then also some kind of, some kind of fun. You've also said one of your weaknesses is beautiful women. Of course, this is seeing uh, beautiful women. Yes. Uh, oh, so beautiful. Uh, but then, as a monk, thinking of uh, uh, the children, many of my friends, American friends, or also some European, each time, I think between few years' time, you see, they meet new wife. <laughs> Second wife, new wife, third wife, really? <laughs> like that. So, so married people, not necessarily very happy. <laughs> a lot of worry, a lot of concern, and also I think, uh, I think the husband, I think uh, much portion of his money, I think used by lady. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, many many married women also work, so they don't need their husband's money. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh that's good. That's good. More independence. Yeah. Could the next Dalai Lama be a female? Yes, of course. If the circumstances is such, female Dalai Lama can be more useful. And then why not? Do you think you're the last Dalai Lama? Well, possible. If Tibet, the Tibetan people feel. Dharma institution is no longer any relevant, then automatically it will cease. In that case, if in my lifetime it happened, then I will be last Dalai Lama.
you know, I was so nervous to, to meet the Dalai Lama. And, you know, what I was going to talk to him is you can see we had a fabulous conversation. That's probably not what you expected. It's probably not what I expected. That was no, not me what either. I, that yeah. was, yeah, it was a, a, a very interesting discussion. And, of course, um, he has many followers here in the United States and around the world. And he's a man who's, who's revered for spirituality, for his focus on happiness, for viewing someone, you know, I wouldn't view you as a man or view you as a journalist or a father. I view you, supposed to view you as another human being. And there's certainly a, a lot of interest in that. Um, what but I, I'll say this, he clearly felt very comfortable talking to you. You can yes. see that. Yes. He, has one of the, he also has one of the great laughs. Doesn't he? Yeah, just yes. really awesome. You know, we got along so well, I was holding his hand, and then at one point he said, oh, I'm not supposed to hold your hand. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a connection. We had no, a connection. Big time. Big time, yes. <laughs> big time.